So one of the things that we funded out of the gate was evaluation. So we recognizing from the very beginning that the work that we were putting together was very unique and we wanted to make sure that it was effective because there are a lot of resources that are going into the neighborhood strategy right now and we would like to be able to show value for the work that's happening. So we actually have a four-pronged evaluation process uh, led by different researchers uh, from the University of Toronto and McMaster um, University and I won't go too much into the depth of these, but just to know that we're doing surveys in neighborhoods on quality of life, we're doing process evaluations, we're doing indicator uh, work, and we are evaluating the plan implementation. So we're looking at all of the uh, neighborhood action activities, and we're actually evaluating how many of those get implemented and what the barriers and enablers to that implementation is going to be. Within the city of Hamilton, one of the goals of the neighborhood strategy when, the, when our city manager, Chris Murray, really um, uh, came up with this idea and worked with other partners to have it happen was um, to break down silos in, in city departments and have city departments and divisions and programs work together to support residents in a holistic way. So as you know, um, within a municipality, we have um, public works departments that work on roads and traffic and parks and many other things, so community services, we do, you know, recreation, Ontario work, housing, planning, of course, as our plans, public health runs a number of, of health services. And, um, and so what we really hope to do was have city staff come together and in a project way work with residents together as a city, so we would have this comprehensive response. So um, th we're tracking to see if that's actually happening. Of the um, 421 actions, so this is data from last year, we'll have new data in the fall of this year, 57 uh, were completed by the end of last year, and a further 156 are underway. Of the 421 actions, the City of Hamilton has actually responded to 279, which is a huge number. And 105 actions have two or more city departments working together. So this is the beginning of what the city manager envisioned uh, when he supported and championed the neighborhood strategy from the beginning, and it actually is playing out. So the next slide uh, is a Venn diagram that really shows where city departments are starting to work together on different actions. And we hope next year we see in the middle of that uh, diagram or tulip or whatever you like to call it, those ones and zeros, we would like to see bigger, better numbers to really show good synergies between our, um, between our city departments. So, you know, obviously with all the uh, work that's being undertaken and the evaluation that's being undertaken, we're in a process where we're looking at continuous improvement. So where can we improve the work that we're doing? Um, and we're finding that, you know, obviously we need to improve on engagement, uh, promotion and awareness of the initiative, and also longer term sustainability, which is always a question that's top mind of any kind of project like this. Um, not all of the areas have been successful at this point in time, but certainly we're working on that. Uh, we have, a, you know, a Holman Community Development Community of Practice between the community developers, the recreation business consultants, the public health nurses, City of Hamilton community developers, and now community librarians that are starting to focus the work a little bit better so that uh, the synergies that were described earlier can work a little more. What we're reminded too is that some of the traditional methods of promotion don't work. So newspaper ads, flyers and posters don't work. So um, we have these neighborhood newspapers which are providing to be better tools for us to engage with people. These are newspapers that are literally delivered door to door in all the priority neighborhoods. Uh, we have many partners at the table with, uh, that have come to the table funding specific projects. Uh, the City of Hamilton, the Best Start Network, and the Hamilton Community Foundation are the only ones funding the project year after year. Uh, we have received some funding from an American Foundation for our Urban Farm Initiative. Uh, we're starting to kind of broaden our perspectives around that um, funding. We have received funding from the Ministry of Training Colleges and Universities for the Neighborhood Home Improvement Program in the past. Um, and we're doing things even like the lining um, 
the work of our Housing and Homelessness Action Plan and the priorities there, and for example, creating a home ownership program that's targeted within the neighborhood. Uh, implementation on quick wins and building on other existing programs like park cleanups have been successful. But as I said earlier, things are becoming a little more complex and they're therefore a little bit more difficult to get off the ground. Uh, but new funding is certainly helping this and the tracking tool is a good way to raise awareness within the city departments of the actions. And this should also bring more support to the table.